Hey everyone and welcome to another Hard Time 4 quick modding tutorial from the Iron Workshop. Now the previous tutorial turned out to be not that quick, uh, but this one will be. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to create new crossings, new sea crossings in Hard Time 4 if you want to make bridges between provinces that have a sea between them. So as always, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new mod. Now this is a really simple thing to add, but the reason that I'm adding a new mod is to keep things separate from the vanilla game so that in case that something goes wrong, it doesn't affect the base game. And you should always do this as well. So we'll go to mod tools, create mod. We'll just call it the bridges mod. I'll we'll call it the bridges mod. This is the folder, our version, gameplay, create mod. Okay, done. So we have created our mod and now we'll be copying some files to make our mod work. Now to create our bridges, we actually need just one file from the vanilla game. So I've opened my mod folder, which is located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, Hard Time 4 Mod. Here we have the Bridges mod that we've created. Obviously, you'll see something else if you named your mod differently. And here we have the vanilla, the original game folder, which is located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Hard Time 4. And from here, we'll need a file from the map folder. So I will recreate the map folder in my mod and from here we'll be copying a file called adjacencies.csv just like that excellent so this is the only file that we'll need we'll be creating a bridge between gibraltar in spain and tangier in morocco so let's go ahead and open this file now as you can see there is a lot of stuff in here and you don't really need to understand everything that's going on in this file but what I'm going to do and what I always recommend you to do as well is to copy an existing thing that works and then just, just change it to whatever you need. Now in this file there is already a crossing between Corsica in France and Sardinia in Italy. So we are going to use that entry, that existing entry, to change to whatever we need it to do. So here it is, Sardinia and Corsica. So I'm just going to take this whole line, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go to the end of the file, and in here, just before all of these minus one, minus one, I'm just going to put this entry right here. Now, to create our bridge, to create our crossing, what we need to know are the provinces that this bridge is going to connect, and also the province that the bridge is going to be over. So if it's a, if it's a sea province, so we need to know the name uh, or we need to know the ID of that C province. Now in order for us to find out the numbers of these provinces, we'll need to go into the game in debug mode. If you don't know how to start your game in debug mode, please take a look at a separate lesson that I have just for that. I will have that in the video description and you should also see it in the upper right corner of this video. So after you've set up debug mode and you open the game in debug mode, you will have the nudge option. So we'll go into the nudge tool and I'll just zoom in here with my mouse wheel where Gibraltar and Tangier are. I'll click on states in the upper right corner. And if I hover over Gibraltar, you see that it says province ID 4135. So that is the province ID of Gibraltar. So let's just open our file and change here to 4135. Great. And now we need the province ID of Tangier. That is 9945. So let's just change it to 9945. Great. Now this is a sea crossing, right? So they're crossing what is a sea, what is essentially a sea. And here, this, this place where the bridge is located, this is also a province and it has its own ID and that is 5407. So we'll just type that in here right after the C, right? So 5407. Now you can keep all of these as they are 
and in the end uh, you just need to put some kind of a comment right so that you know what this crossing is so let's just say that it's Gibraltar and Tangier okay excellent now to make things nitty and to make sure that everything works I'm going to remove this empty line I'm going to save this file I'm going to close the game and now I'm going to restart the game with my mod enabled. And now let's go ahead and see if our bridge actually appears in the game. Alright, so here we are. If we zoom into the map, we see that we now have this crossing between Tangier and Gibraltar. So our troops, tanks, whatever, they can now cross freely and the Mediterranean is no longer separating these two provinces. So that is it. That is all that there is to the magic of creating bridges in the game. Now it is quite possible that your first attempt might not work, things may not appear. Please make sure to activate your mod before you check, because obviously if you did not activate your mod, you will not see the results in the game. Please make sure that your file files and folders are named correctly, because if you have misspelled the names of the files and the folders, then things will also not work. And if it still doesn't work, please let me know in the comments of this video. But please provide me with some information that I can work with, like a snippet of the code that you typed, things like that. Because if you just leave a comment saying it doesn't work, that means nothing to me. I can't really work with that, I can't really help you. Alright, so that is all that we need to know about creating bridges uh, in Hearts of Iron 4. Now, this was a, quite a short tutorial. I will be creating a longer lessons after I am finished with some very important things in the Cold War mod. Also in September, the Iron Workshop will be focusing on Crusader Kings 3 modding lessons and tutorials. But please don't worry, Hearts of Iron 4 is not going anywhere. I will still be making tutorials and lessons for Hearts of Iron 4 as well. Alright, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next uh, video, lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.